pound of flesh, no more, no less. No cartilage, no bone, but only flesh. This task done and he would go free. A leather chair was soaked through with sweat. All day Saturday and all day Sunday, the murderer wanted Ghoul to just take his time, to have to sit there and decide. Where do you make the first cut? There's a gun in your face. And what part of your body is expendable? Well, he cut along his stomach. Love him. You must have another puzzle piece. Look, I appreciate being able to talk all this out with you, but... This is just to satisfy my curiosity. I'm still leaving town on Saturday. Mrs. Gould, Gould's wife, was on vacation. I don't know if that means she knows something, or, but we've interviewed her five times at least. And if it's a threat? Yeah, we'll put her in a safe house. Look, I want you to look at these with fresh eyes. Don't see what the killer sees. Even if the corpse is right there, you need to see, almost look through it, editing out the initial shock. Look at the room. He's preaching. Punishing. The sins were used in medieval sermons. There was the seven cardinal virtues and the seven deadly sins. And they were created as a learning tool because they distracted from true worship. Like a uh, Parson's Tale. Like in the Parson's Tale of Dante. Did you read that? Yeah. Parts of it. Yeah. Sir, my name is Joe. I said, hi, how are you doing? He said, you know what? I've been watching you look at this car, and I've never seen anybody so fully focused since I've been here, and that's been 10 years. I said, we need to go to my office and talk. I said, sir, I came here to feel good. I said, this is probably the worst period of my life. And he looked at me. And he said, why? What's going on? I said, you know what? I don't want to go into it. Whole story. He says, no, 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 no. I want to know what's happened. And so I said, well, it's a new year. And I feel blessed to be part of this new year. You know, but my wife was just killed a couple weeks ago. And he said, oh, man, I'm so sorry. What happened? He goes, you know, she was carded. Car broke down in a bad area and this guy shot her. And he goes, Oh, fuck, man, what? He goes, Yeah. I said, It was Christmas Eve and, uh, you know, she had to go to the mall. Nobody had done any Christmas shopping and I had to work late and she just, you know. I had to work. I worked till 3 in the morning and then I get, you know, I'm thinking she's going to be so upset with me. I go home and there's a message on the machine saying she's at the hospital and would I, would I identify the body? Good morning, Jody. Do you know that? It's 3 a.m. Uh, it's working. So let me guess, Jody, the shoot ran late, uh, it's not your fault, you had no idea, what? You're drunk. You're no. drunk. No. You know what, you're pathetic. You're pathetic, okay? You are pathetic, Jody. How do we get all this? How do we get all this? What, by you running around with these girls all the time? I'm done, I'm done with you. I'm done with this marriage. I am done.